Here I've got an OEM evaporator coil that has not been installed yet using a constant cut in style control. So remember the operation of the constant cut in control. No matter how cold I turn this, and it gives you numbers from 1 to 7, so if I turn it to 7, 7 being represents the temperature of how cold the evaporator coil gets before it turns off the com compressor. But no matter what you set this number at, it always turns back on at 40 degrees. So that in itself is self defrosting because no matter how cold I set the cut out temperature which is when the compressor cuts out or turns off the cut in temperature or when the compressor turns back on will always be at 40 degrees they do this because this is an electromechanical control it uses the gas charge in the sensing bulb that's set up to always turn that control back on when this coil temperature inside where this sensing bulb is located notice the sensing bulb right here okay it's embedded in that coil when that sensing bulb gets back up to 40 degrees coil temperature it's going to turn that control back on so that in itself is self defrosting because 40 degrees coil temperature is above 32 degrees 32 degrees is obviously when we form ice so constant cut and control example. Here's another example of an evaporator coil that also uses a constant cut in temperature controller. Uh, you notice the style of the evaporator is different. This is a Molion mounted coil or Molion style it mounts, you know, basically in between two doors on the door frame. The temperature controller is right there. So here's a look at the inside. Same thing. This is a constant cut in control. Maintains a 40 degree coil temperature. Just a little bit different arrangement than the last coil, but still does the same thing. No matter how how cold we turn the dial, it always cuts back in at 40 degrees. Here's an up close of a constant cut in temperature controller. This is a bad one that I pulled out and I happened to save it. But your sensing bulb embeds in your coil. The numbers just with the inside. Single pull, single throw. This right here is an example of an electronic constant cut in control. This one has some options though. This one is programmable by the manufacturer. Uh, this is a made by Dan Foss, but um, it can be programmed to do all kinds of stuff. So you've got two probes. One gets embedded in the evaporator coil. One senses the air temperature. So um, again, there's no specific function that these things absolutely do. It's all based off of the programming when they get brought from the factory and what they have. But uh, some of your options are constant cut in, always turning on at 40 degrees, and on top of that, it can actually have a, a normal timed defrost function built into it too for extra defrost, but it can also be temperature terminated. So if you've got a coil temperature and an air temperature, they can look at the coil temperature and they can also look at the air temperature to get a more accurate defrost termination temperature to make sure your box isn't getting above 40. This particular control, uh, you you can see the terminal designations there. There's C for compressor, L and L is line, H is your heater circuit, N is your neutral circuit, and F is your fan circuit. So this is actually for a refrigerator. So this one doesn't use the heater circuit, but it does use the fan circuit. So they've actually got an algorithm built into this control to stage the evaporator fan motors and turn them off uh, based off of their funky algorithm. But they do it to uh, save energy. So this is typically an aftermarket control. I have seen them from some OEMs, but they're typically aftermarket. This is a very versatile controller. Um, this particular one does not have built-in defrost, but they actually the manufacturer pen, which is made by Johnson Controls, has actually come out recently with a new control. Um, 
can't remember the designation or part number, but it's the same look right here. But it actually has built-in defrost also. But you can do all kinds of stuff with this. This would be, I would consider, an aftermarket electronic digital controller. This can be used uh, for soup wells to keep them hot. You can use this as a heating or a cooling control because we have a normally open and a normally closed contact. So we can close when it gets to a certain temperature or we can open when it gets to a certain temperature. Um, you, if you've got some ingenuity in you, you can actually use this control as a constant cut-in temperature controller too. Um, because it's digital, you can set it to turn on and off at any temperature. So if you know the temperature that the inside of your evaporator coil is going to be at a certain box temperature, you could theoretically set, you can embed this into the coil and set that to adjust that. This guy here is one of the more commonly seen Johnson. We call him a pen temperature controller. This one is a um, control that also can do heating or cooling because it has a normally open and a normally closed contact. Um, the range is pretty broad. On this one right here, it can go from 100 degrees down to negative 30 degrees. The interesting thing about this one is, is it has a coiled sensing bulb on the top that is not remote. So when you're using this particular control you have to be cautious about where you put it depending on the application you're using it for so if i'm using this in a walk-in cooler i would not want this to be mounted usually on the front of the coil where the air blows out because you wouldn't want it to get hit by that air temperature you could do it but you just have to pay attention wherever you mount it you have to know what your temperatures are actually going to get to um, this is typically mounted in the return air stream up on the back wall of a walk-in cooler evaporator coil. This guy, I have to say, is the number one most common temperature controller that we use for walk-in freezers and coolers. Uh, it is a Johnson or a pen temperature controller made by Johnson. This particular model does have a normally open and a normally closed contact. Um, I shouldn't say this particular model. This one is just the single pole single throw model but you can get it in a single pole double throw um, this one right here again very versatile the sensing bulbs a little bit bigger but you theoretically could embed this in evaporator coil and use this as a constant cut in control i wouldn't suggest it because you'd have to bend the fins pretty big to be able to shove this into those but i've seen it done but anyways this is a very broad range control it goes from 100 degrees down to negative 30 very, very common truck stock item. Uh, usually keep one or two of these if you're doing a lot of walk-in.